Hey everybody, it's Kevin from 3D Printed Props. Welcome to the video. Today we're going to be going over the build of this Ant-Man helmet that I made. Uh, it's a DO 3D file. It was a challenge because of all the pieces parts, but I think it turned out awesome. Let's go ahead and go downstairs to the workshop and put it all together. <laughs> Okay, so here we are working on the Ant-Man helmet. And uh, this was a fairly easy print. Again, this is a DO 3D file. Great file, printed up super easy. Um, helmets, you got all the different pieces. I split them up just so that I can be able to sand them. In retrospect, I would more than likely leave a lot of it in place. Uh, I had some tough times putting it back together. Of course, we're sanding it. We're starting with an 80 and then working in with the files to get all the little detail work to make sure uh, that you know it looks nice and sharp because if you don't stand these little areas that's where you know the imperfections really shine through because you know the eyes that's where people are going to be looking and of course you can see there are some lines still but we're going to fill that later now after we've primed it we of course have got to do some sanding and again get into those little areas and sand that stuff out too but still we have some lines even after a couple coats of sandable primer and sanding so we're gonna use some uh, body filler and this stuff is great for the little stuff and I'm just gonna go through and get all the little lines and bumps and creases that I don't care for I might have gone overboard on this one as you can see that is a lot of the filler primer now the top part it didn't really need anything it came out really well there's bumps so you don't really want to do a lot of sanding on the main helmet area, I did go ahead and use some Bondo because some of these cracks were fairly substantial. Now, we're sanding away at the red stuff, uh, the, the body filler, and again, make sure you're wearing a respirator for that stuff uh, and when you're doing sanding the Bondo because, you know, really fine particulates and it's really nasty stuff. You can see all that fine powder. Then we go ahead and do our wet sanding. This is after multiple sands and primers to get it nice and smooth. And of course, uh, we need some lenses for this. And I found some 16 inch uh, transparent uh, plexi that I'm gonna use. And of course, with the file came the eyes, which I think is really funny, <laughs> because if you put those in, you wouldn't be able to see, but I guess if it was just for looks. So I heated up the uh, plexi and then bent it around the actual uh, lens that came with it. This way, it give me a basic shape. It's pretty darn close. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, I've done some painting here, put some black lacquer on to give it some shine. Uh, I've done my taping now so I can give it multiple colors. It was a little tricky to find some good references for this because in some of the commercials, one helmet, it, it, the helmet of one piece is one color and one it, it's a different color. So it was a little tricky. This came out pretty sharp. I was very pleased with this. I did decide to put some um, of that red plexi in this little area here uh, ended up being quite a big problem in the end but it worked out okay now the lenses i put in with copious amounts of uh what is that stuff called glue stick of hot glue <laughs> and uh, they looked really sharp i was quite pleased with it now this is where putting it together was a real tricky thing you know things move things shift uh, plastic expands plastic contracts now you see that great part up there I more than likely in you know doing this all over again I would have printed this helmet with the head part the top part that you know uh, sort of bumpy part that great part right there I would have printed that all in one piece upside down because uh, this as you can see I'm using clamps stay away and back away slowly I'm using clamps and all kinds of crazy stuff to get this thing together but it's working out pretty well <laughs> but I've had to actually I had to like snap it apart a number of times and then put it back together again not the models problem uh, it's a great model from uh, do 3d uh, the only problem again was um, you know things move and things shift and it's hard to get things to line up but all in all ended up happy with the placement of that now I'm putting on sort of that mouth cone and it's a little wonky. And again, this is just because I'm, I'm gluing things, so it's time for coffee. But I used a heat gun and sort of melted things around a bit so that they would all fit. Uh, so with a lot of glue, 
<laughs> and a lot of epoxy and clamps, I was able to get things to fit the way I wanted them and then go in to print in or to paint in some of these little details. Okay, so that was the build. A little tricky sometimes, a lot of clamps, a lot of different pieces, parts. If I was gonna print this again, I'd probably leave that inside shield on the file and I'd probably maybe even leave the top part. If you wanna know how I split this up, take a look at the video, whichever corner it's gonna show up on and I can show you how to split up the files. Um, but really happy with this, the Plexi looks great. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the lights on. And there we go. So uh, here's with the LEDs. Uh, really uh, pleased with how this turned out. I've got a little bit of foam in there. Ooh, that's a tight one. I got a little bit of foam in there so that uh, it doesn't wobble around like a bobblehead. And I would have shown you the LED installation, but I accidentally deleted the, those files, erased that card. Simple LEDs uh, strip with a switch uh, in the back. That was it. So yeah, awesome build, great helmet. Uh, really, really happy with it. Now, if you're curious what color paints and whatnot that I used, go to the description below, uh, 3dprintedpropsgear.com. Also, uh, I of course use ZL Tech uh, filament with this. I love that stuff. It's cheap. It never has let me down. There's a coupon code in the description below for you to get 15% off. Also, I use the CR10 to print this and the Anacubic. Uh, there's coupon codes below for that as well. And of course, head over to my Patreon page where you can uh, sign up to be a Patreon to get uh, different files I'm working on and other things like that. And I think that's it. Oh, and like and subscribe. That would be fantastic. Uh, we are hitting 2,800 subscribers. It's just incredible. So uh, if you could like and subscribe, hit that little bell. It'll tell you exactly when videos uh, are launched. I got a lot of cool things coming up I'm really excited about. Uh, but this helmet is totally uh, one of, where's the little on switch? Is totally one of my favorites that I've done. And I cannot wait to see this movie. All right, I'm going to let you guys go. Thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate it. Again, remember, like and subscribe if you have a second. And take it easy. Hey everybody, it's Kevin and welcome to 3D Printed Props. Today's video, we're going to be working on this awesome Red Hood helmet. Red Hood helmet? This awesome... Let's just start that again. <laughs> <laughs>